Well, Mr. Walker, your heart's, um, your artery is 80% clogged. You got to stop eating so much greasy foods, right? You know, black people have high cholesterol, blah, 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 blah. Yep, that's what Doc told me. August 13, 2013, when I had a heart attack, 727 in the morning. You are dealing with a person that's heartless. You're giving your heart to a heartless person. I was heartless. I was taking nine pills a day. I was in rehab for four months. I didn't want to have sex. I was mean and grumpy. Heartless as hell. I went from uh, uh, rehab and I went right into therapy. From rehab, I went right into therapy for my personality disorder. January 2015. Every week for an hour, I had to see a therapist. Intensive in-care patient is what I was considered. A PX, a patient. You know, so therapy is what, I, what helped me out. I went from rehab to from having a bad heart to having a stent put in my heart to, have, to taking nine pills a day, being grumpy and mean, to not want to have, to not want to have sex, to going right into therapy. I needed that. I needed to hit my personal rock bottom. If they don't hit that personal rock bottom, you got a long way to go with that dysfunctional, hurting, mean, grumpy person. I was a dysfunctional, hurting, mean, grumpy person. I had not hit my rock bottom yet. So the doc told me, yeah, you got to get a heart. You know, we're going to give you medicine. We're going to put a stent in there and you'll be okay. No, nah, doc. I had to say, no, nah, doc, this is what I get. This is my, my broken heart. I had to own that. This is my broken heart. And in order for a person, the nar narcissistic person to get up and start treating you right, to go into therapy, want to be better, want to treat the kids right, want to treat the family right, want to treat the coworkers right, they have to hit their personal, their personal rock bottom. I didn't have a personal rock bottom for 32 years, my whole career, longer than that. I didn't have a personal rock bottom. But they, once they can hit that personal rock bottom, they can change. They can change their behaviors. They can work on themselves. Look up the video by Dr. Romani, 10 things that narcissistic people can do to change their behavior. You can do it. You can work on it. It's hard. It's tough because so many years I enjoyed being, being a butthole. I enjoyed being cocky. I enjoyed being arrogant. I did. But you can do it. But they have to hit that personal rock bottom. For you all, it's giving your heart to a heartless person. You don't even roller skate no more. You don't get your hair done. You don't put on makeup. You don't put on lipstick. You don't hang out with your sorority girls. My brothers, you don't hang out with your frat brothers. You don't work out. You don't get your beard trimmed up. You don't do anything because that heartless person is taking your heart away from you. Men's heart, are, are, men's, our hearts are not as strong as women as a woman's heart. So you got to be careful with that. You know, if there's a book I did called The Body Keeps the Score. A lot of you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, sugar levels off, your eyesight is gone. You know what I'm saying? You can barely breathe. You're having migraines. You can barely sleep. You got sleep apnea from a heartless person and you continue to give your heart to a heartless person. You got to worry about thinking about being credible, being fabulous, being great, being loving, being caring, you know, enjoying life, enjoying life, being virtuous. Stop enabling people that's going to disable you. All right, y'all have a great day.